prostate media labeling of periplasmic proteins and mycobacteria to better understand the progression of breast cancer metastasis using mask RCN and DenseNet. The synthesis of graphene nanocomposites with enhanced thermal conductivity and mechanical strength for use in heat exchanger and fuel storage technology. So basically, there's this black magic powder and it's 300 times stronger than steel and a thousand times lighter than paper. It's pure flat carbon. What this project would do is let us save 50% of savings on using thermally conductive plastics. Investigation of laser diffractometry for sedimentological characterization of a core from the Douglas Manor Marsh. Resistant increases breast cancer cell invasiveness by inducing the mesenchymal transition. The relationship between atherosclerotic calcification and endochondral ossification in 50-week-old APOE mice. Sustainability in water treatment, heavy metal remediation via nitro-oxidized carboxycellulose nanofibers. The role of NRBF2 in the regulation of the ALK1 kinase complex. PTSD's associations with anxiety sensitivity and behaviorally determined distress tolerance in 9-11 responders. The role of candida albicans infection on the development of Alzheimer's disease. The chemical and barcode analysis of a Latin ethno-botanical plant, Vismia SPP. The role of MIR-34A in colorectal cancer racial health disparities. Gordon Vidicep's observational learning by modeling. Double aligned graphene hex and hexagonal boronitride heterostructures. And my project is on the impact of acculturation on moral judgment and perception of self in second generation adolescents. I work with a C and M &E called nematosyllabic tensis. And so I specifically work with nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. Now, nicotinic receptors are one of the most important components of the nervous system. They are known to modulate arousal, sleep, food intake, learning, memory, attention, and as a result, they play a very significant role in many diseases such as Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, schizophrenia, epilepsy, and addiction. So, you know, really big buzzwords that we don't, in actuality, know a lot about. I'm very clearly passionate about what I do, and you know, it's about creating a story. You know, my story with this organism has been for three years, and I think that's a really long time, and as a senior, it's, you know, I'm thinking about college, and. It's been a real staple of me being in high school. And you know, I think research is a lot about taking a shot in the dark and saying, you know what, even if this doesn't work, I'm still gaining experience. I'm still learning. From Smithtown High School West, Sarah Adamo.